Hi guys, my name is Pratik Zoshi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing about the section called as Data Insights in the GMAT Focus Edition. How many questions are there total? What is the time limit? How much time do you get per question? What are the different types of questions that are asked in this section? All of this we are going to be discussing in this video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So first of all, what is data insights? So data insights is basically a replacement of integrated reasoning section. So what they have done is um, you must know that quant has been changed and uh, basically one part of quant has been removed and that same part has been now added to integrated reasoning. Hence, when integrated reasoning and data sufficiency questions come together, it forms a new section which is called as data insights. So basically what this section does is checks the aspirant's ability to analyze data, make a choice based on that data, whether that question can be solved or not, what is the exact answer for whatever question is asked in terms of only data, how to measure it, how to analyze it and how to answer the question based on all these uh, data skills that an aspirant possesses. There are some details about this section that everyone needs to know. The first thing is how many total number of questions are there in it? The answer is 20 questions. How much time is given to you to answer this section? The answer is 45 minutes. So if you calculate on an average uh, the number of time that an aspirant can take per question, the answer is 2 minutes and 25 seconds each aspirant gets to answer one question in this particular section. Speaking about whether the calculator facility is available in this section or not, then yes, the on-screen calculator is available for you to check your answers, but then I'm not sure whether it is wise enough to use the calculator because you cannot use your keyboard. Obviously, you have to use your mouse and select each number and then go for that particular calculation. Going forward to understand what type of questions are asked in this particular section. So the first one that we have is data sufficiency questions. What is data sufficiency? Basically an example of this particular uh, uh, type of question is there on screen right now. So when you see this question, basically you have a question that is asked uh, at the top. Then you have two statements made. Statement number one, statement number two. And then you have to choose basically whether statement one is alone to answer the question, statement two alone is uh, uh, is uh, sufficient enough to answer the question. Both the statements together are necessary, but neither alone uh, can be sufficient. Each statement alone is sufficient. And finally, statement one and statement two cannot be used to answer the question. Basically, this is uh, not on finding the correct answer, but basically how the statements can be used to answer that question and whether they are sufficient or not. Hence, the name is data sufficiency. The next type of questions that are found in this particular data insight section are multi-source reasoning. So you will see in multi-source reasoning, you will have multiple sources for your information and based on the question, you need to select a certain tab understand the data and then answer your particular question. Next, obviously, another type of question that is commonly found in this section is table analysis. Pretty sure everyone knows what a table means and analysis obviously speaks out for itself. Basically, data is represented in the form of a table and you need to select uh, the, the sort uh, column based on whatever question is asked you need to sort that data in whatever uh, arrangement that you feel is necessary understand the data and answer the question accordingly next type of question are graphic interpretation pretty sure everyone knows the meaning of graphic interpretation basically data will be disguised in the form of graphs graphs can be of different types you have some examples popping up on your screen right now as we speak so data can be represented in the form of line charts, bar graphs, pie charts, whatever it is. Basically data is not given values, but it is depicted in the form of tables and you need to understand or basically graphics and you need to understand based on the graphics, what are the trends, what is the increase, decrease, how is the data behaving and based on those particular uh, questions, you need to answer uh, them uh, based on the trends that you see in the graphs. 
Now speaking about the last type of questions which are usually found in this particular section, you have two part analysis. As you can see on screen, this is a very common example. Basically data will be given in the form of a paragraph and then uh, uh, basically statements will be made and then you need to choose uh, which particular combination of the answers would hold true for the question asked in the particular paragraph so you really need to understand all other scenarios mentioned because some scenarios work along with each other some don't so you really need to have all your attention on this type of questions so yes that sums up uh, the entire of the data insight section all you need to do now going forward is basically practice practice makes anyone and everyone perfect so make sure you attack all these type of questions with uh, a decent difficulty level try all the variety of questions that you can attack in this particular section and i'm pretty sure you will do amazingly well so that is it for this video guys uh hope i was able to help you out if i did then don't forget to like share subscribe i'll be seeing you for the next video so until then be happy stay safe and all the best for your practice